and now we are joined by the manager of the New York Yankees, Aaron Boone. Aaron, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're doing great. Does this rain out hurt your team at all? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, you know, we're, we're both teams have to deal with it. Uh, you got to deal with <laughs> different things that come up all the time in, in the regular season and certainly in the postseason and it's how you handle those things. So, um, you know, we'll be ready to go tomorrow, uh, tomorrow for an early one. Now, the only thing that I can figure in looking at it is that your game two starter, if the game was played today, could be your game five starter on three days rest. Now it would be on two days rest. So do you have to manage your bullpen differently over the next couple of games just to keep Tyone available to start that possible game five? Yeah. So uh, we'll still have JMO available tomorrow, and then we'll kind of adjust as the series unfolds. Um, you know, if, if you got into a game five scenario, you know, I'd like to think that um, Nestor would be available on some level, you know, uh, you know, especially for, you know, some of their lefties uh, in their lineup to give you another lefty, you know, even if it's, if, if it's for an important inning or something. So, um, you know, we'll adjust as we have to, but, you know, we, we got a chance to go out and, and hopefully uh, get another W and, and, and another step forward tomorrow. You do probably appreciate the rest after a, a really long and grueling season, but uh, six days off before the playoffs start, you play a game, and then it's going to be another two days off because of the off day and then the rain. So does it take you out of your rhythm to have a go from a season where you're playing pretty much every day to having one game and basically ten? Yeah, just, just not allowed to, you know, like – um, we're we're trying to look at it as the benefits of it, you know, and, and we had an opportunity because we were able to win our division and secure a, a top seed that um, we had those days off. So hopefully we use that to our advantage, um, you know, as far as getting guys rested and a couple guys back and more fully healthy. Um, we're looking at it like that. We, we worked hard to try and stay sharp over that break to, to strike that balance between, um, you know, resting and also making sure we're getting everyone some live reps um, and hopefully it serves us well uh, as this month unfolds. Now, uh, you started Garrett Cole in the first game and he pitched really well, uh, one out into the seventh inning. Uh, and you had taken a while uh, to officially name Garrett as your, your number one starter in, in the playoffs. So I'm just wondering, Aaron, were you close at any point to saying, you know what, I'm going to go with Cortez in that game one? Uh, I don't know if I – no, I wouldn't say I was necessarily close. Mm -hmm. I would just say, um, you know, <laughs> I've said going into this postseason that, you know, I feel like obviously we're dealing with some injuries. We've lost some guys. <laughs> we don't have some guys fully back. But one of the areas I feel really good about is our starting pitchers. And I feel like our three starters, and I think even when you expand it to – to JMO and, and even Herman, I feel like from a starting pitching standpoint, we match up really well with all the teams in the playoffs. And, and so I, I looked at it as a, as kind of a good decision because of the year Nestor's put forth because of how Seve looks um, really all year. But, but then especially since he's come back off the IL, like I just feel like we're working from a position of strength. So I just wanted to make sure that I didn't, race to a decision i wanted to talk to some people about it let it breathe a little bit and before <laughs> before i made what i thought was the best decision do you, aaron do you think fans have been fair with with garrett cole because it seems like people are always ready to jump him and if he didn't have a good performance a couple of days ago it seems that they would have and of course he staved that off but do you think the fans have been fair in general with him yeah i think so look i think they want him to 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 be an ace of, of this team you know uh, you know i think when you come here and and you sign a big contract and you're the big fish out there and and you come here and um you know uh, there's no no place that has higher expectations than than playing for the new york yankees so i think he understands that um um and but i think they absolutely want him to to do great and, and get behind them um, and I was really excited to, you know, I, I think I think what he's done since he's been here has been underrated. You know, I, I think um, he's been incredibly durable. He takes the ball. 
Um, he's strung together, you know, three really strong seasons in a row where he's going to be top five probably in the Cy Young every single year. Um, you know, he's pitched well in the postseason, contrary to I think sometimes that narrative. And uh, he got us off to a great start uh, last night. And and what I liked is, you know, he, he went out there and had to deal with some adversity early on and and came up and made some really big pitches, excuse me, in some big spots and um I thought he was. I thought he was excellent in in a pressure packed uh, game. I, I, I'm so, so glad you said that because I, I I think sometimes I'm speaking in a vacuum to some of our listeners because they don't think Garrett Cole has been that good as a Yankee. He's finished in the top five in Cy Young the first two years. He's probably going to do it again. And I look at him now. Did he give up too many home runs this year? Of course he did. But I think he's one of the top five pitchers in baseball. Am I off? No question. No question. And, you know, he, he's, he's you know, a, a handful of long balls this year from, from probably being the Cy Young Award right. winner. You know, when you figure the innings he logged, the strikeouts, the command, um, you know, uh, you know and, and I think a, a lot of the home runs were, you know, of course, mistakes that people take advantage of, but I also do think it was a little bit of a weird year, and that there we go back and look at some of these home runs that were hit off him. That man, it's like how, how do you get to that pitch, or you know, uh, that wasn't such a mistake or whatever. So I think, you know, what we try to look at is I think he's thrown the ball incredibly well this year. I think he's been really consistent with with how he's thrown the ball, and I think on balance, it's been an outstanding year for him.